Hey everybody, welcome to Elite Rose Tarot. It's your girl Rose. And I'm here to do another energy reading for you guys. Shout out to all the subscribers. I truly, truly love and appreciate you guys. If this is your first time to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Figure we will find out what's going on between you and your person, whoever is on your mind. Let's see what the energy is. I hope you guys are having a great week. Protecting your energy. Not letting somebody <laughs> get in your space. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, somebody is uh, feeling discontent, possibly lonely. They didn't choose wisely in the present moment. And somebody has officially moved on to their success and their balance. I feel like this is you, collective, um, doing the shadow work and getting the balance for yourself. You are embarking on something really new. Deception and envy is here with awareness. You are aware of this person's shady ways. Like you, you really, I could just look at this spread and tell you're done. There's no coming back. This person did not choose wisely at all. I don't know if they just didn't think you were strong enough to move on. There was this deception and envy here with awareness. I feel like you know the games that they like to play with you and you don't play anymore. Transformation, death, you don't want to do this. This person feels defeated by your walking away. Crown chakra, you're using, wow. What you didn't see coming and really what they didn't see coming was you using what you, like, head over heart. You didn't allow your heart to steer you in this decision to walk away from this person. Third eye is here. You're able to see their lies. You're able to see the deception. You're able to think. Like, really use your mind and think. Not how you feel, but what you think. If you think this person is cheating, if you think this person is being deceptive, then that's probably what's going on. Your intuition was telling you what was going on. Spirit is like telling you, especially with all of these chakras coming up, with your heart chakra being here, you love. And you, you're starting to think and see that everybody doesn't love the way that you do. Um, your, your financial situation is about to change dramatically from the decisions that you're making. I don't know why you feel emotional withdrawal, possibly because not being in a relationship with this person. It's really just residual of this person. You really took a lot of abuse, um, a lot of mental abuse, a lot of uh, gaslighting from this person. Uh, and now you're, you're at the point where you're about to get your recognition and reward. This is your person. This is what you don't see coming is love coming. We're about to go into that. But this person is so depressed from you leaving it's crazy like they can't shut up off the table that's how many times they keep saying they're depressed they're depressed depressed um you moving on opening your chakras up three look at that three of swords they're heartbroken behind the way that you walked away from them um i feel like They are trying to figure out a way to get past this Three of Swords with you, how they can get past hurting you, um, because they see you doing well. Like, you're about to embark on something serious. Death, again, you could be a Scorpio, um, or your person could be, but you're changing. Your life is changing. You are not the same anymore. And you're walking in this new you, and it's bringing you all of this triumphant success, balance. If you are doubting a, a new... Maybe it's a new job, maybe it's a move, maybe it's um, money that should be coming in. If you're doubting it, don't. It's here, it's coming, it's yours to claim. This person can't stand in the way anymore. I feel like they kept a lot of doors closed for you because of their energy. Four of Wands, your ships are coming in. This is your time, this person can't be here. You're waiting on it, you know what I mean? But. It's coming, and people are gonna wanna work with you behind it. Nine of Pentacles, you coming up as the privileged lady. You're coming up as the one with the answers, the, like the talent. This is, people wanna work with you. Um, what else is going on here? The magician, you have manifested your way into something great. Um, You, you know what it is. You put the energy that you used to put into this person into yourself because you finally realize this person ain't going. They, they're not going to do whatever they told you they were going to do. Six of the lovers in reverse, four of swords in reverse, not healed, not trying to heal this love, not trying to heal this twin flame connection and 
not trying to elevate. Knight of Pentacles, walking so slow to the elevation that you had no choice but to manifest something new. Like this, nothing has changed with them, okay? They're the same and sitting in their own self-misery right now. Like literally, it's like they sat there and created this hellhole for themselves and now they feel some sort of way about it, the conflict and defeat, deception and envies here. They're becoming aware of how fucked up they were towards you, finally. It's like they're finally getting that moment, that aha moment, like, oh, that's why she left or that's why he left. I did this and it's, it's almost as if they're finally putting themselves in your shoes for the first time even though you've told them a thousand times to do this, they're finally, finally fucking doing it. And now realizing, damn, if someone was to do that to me, I would be completely hurt and I wouldn't want to deal with them. And I think you've said this to this person before. Like, if I treated you the way you treated me, you would never stay with me as long as I stayed with you. You had hope. I think right now you just really, it's like the focus is on you and you alone, uh, especially with this four cups in reverse. It's not that you are not, is it, it's not that you don't understand the blessing of love. It's just right now you're releasing it to, to be able to focus on the things that are more important to you right now. You know, um, it's like right now holding on to whatever it is that you're trying to manifest and build for yourself is really more important in this moment. It could be family. But something else is, is taking the place of what this love was and how big it was in your life. Judgment being here, it's just like fate. Um, your strategy towards what you're doing is, is amazing. So if, if you are running a business for the first time, if you did go after a different job or if you're, you're thinking of moving or whatever it is, writing a book, it can be anything, um, but it's yours, whatever it is, your strategy and everything that led you up to this moment is how it's working out. It's almost like the, you had to go through this experience to be able to strategize this way. Um, you no longer look at things on the surface, especially with crown chakra, third eye, um, your heart. Crown chakra, I think. Third eye, I see. It's like, you know, I love. Do I love what I see? Damn near is your message. Like, do I love what I see? If I don't, I leave. There's no reason for me to stay here. You know, I think you, you've you leveled up in, in a beautiful way, especially with the number seven being here. Your knowledge and awareness is amazing. No one can really put shit past you. It is what it is, you know? Um, and the people that have betrayed you in the past have to take accountability right now. They have no choice but to take accountability. They can try to cause bullshit and, and delays and they can be haters all they want, but they cannot stop something that belongs to you. Your abundance, no one can stop that. And all of these people, all of these haters that were talking shit behind the scenes have to literally take accountability for their bullshit right now. You're not going to want anything to do with them once you get into this abundance. You're really not. Ten of cups at the bottom of the deck, what you don't see coming is you being happy. A lot of these people are going to feel betrayed by you walking away. I feel like damn near like betrayed because they couldn't use you. You know what I mean? Like, it's insane. It's, it's, it's just kind of, it, it's really, it's giving like, you thought I was weak, so you wanted to take advantage. Now you realize how strong I am, now you want to be sorry. You know what I mean? It's, it's just bullshit. I feel like people judge you off of your looks rather than off of what you actually did. I don't know. Um, could be very handsome, very beautiful, but people probably thought that's how you got what you got was off of your looks, not realizing you're the smartest motherfucker in the room. That's how you got what you got. Don't get caught up in the packaging. You know what I mean? Pay the swords in reverse, ten of cups, and the knight of wands. Um, you know what? I feel like at this point with the page of swords in reverse, you're not cloudy anymore. Like you're not, you're not in the point in your life where you're trying to figure out all of these truths about a person or you're trying to, your intuition is being blocked or you, you're doubting what you think and what you feel. You know it now. You know how, how to get to where you're trying to get to. No one can really tell you how to. Knight of Wands here um, and the Nine of Wands, you're protecting what inspires you. You know, it's, it's especially with the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck. You're really protecting your energy. Feels more like um, uh, your solar plexus. Like, you're really, ch you're checking who's around. Like, if, if I don't like the energy, you got to go. I'm sorry. I don't, and I don't feel sorry. You got to go. Um, 
we have anything coming up in new love for the collective as you're embarking on something brand new this old energy is just that old fucking energy prosperity beginning with the sacrifice whatever you've been sacrificing in the past year because i feel like it's been 12 months um it's going to come into fruition with prosperity beginning. You're going to finally get that sale or you're going to finally get that yes or you're going to finally get that contract. Something triumphant success right behind it. One, one, one. It's yours. New beginning, new beginning, new beginning. So the universe is rewarding you right now for the sacrifices that you made in the past. And it's about to happen in the present moment. You will be getting some money or an opportunity very soon. And when I say very soon, possibly this week, possibly when you see this video, maybe when you stumble upon it, you realize, damn, destiny at the bottom of the deck. This is where you're supposed to be, okay? Um, someone's trying to disrupt love from coming into your life. You know who I'm talking about. This person is trying to disrupt a beautiful love, wow, from literally coming into your space. Solar plexus chakra here. I just said that. Um, I don't know if maybe new love is around you at work because solar plexus chakra is I do something that you do. Maybe there is a new love interest around you for whatever the hell it is you're doing, <laughs> whatever you've been doing in the past 12 months. Somebody is trying to block this and this is harmony. This would be beautiful. This is a faded love. You can't block fate. Hope is right behind it. Wow. This person is going to be okay. So let me tell you about the new person. They're going to be very wise. A lot of these tricks that this person did before to keep people out of your your energy won't work with this person. You give them hope. You make them feel with this sacral chakra coming up. Whoever this is, they're going to have a lot of feelings for you. I feel like such a, like this is a king or a queen coming towards you. Um this is total. This is a divine divine feminine or divine masculine coming towards you. Um you make this person feel a lot and they like the, the, the energy that you bring to them when you're around. It's almost like nobody else makes them feel the way that you do when they are around you. So it's not a lot that's going to stop them from coming towards you, especially with this obstacle and challenge here in base chakra. Um, your pers this new person asked for you. They put it out there in the universe. They asked in affirmations for you. Wow, memories of love. This could be a soulmate here. You've been waiting for this person a very long time. Firm foundation is here with victory and success and rejoice and celebration. This is some, this is some shit right here. Let me tell you. I don't know if this is an, an, possibly another fire sign because you know how you like them fire signs. But um, this can be uh, a water sign as well. But whoever this is, they're very strong in their emotional state. They know. They're not unemotionally unavailable, or emotionally unavailable, rather, I'm sorry. Um, this is someone who is a boss-like energy. They also believe in God. They are led by a higher power, not by material things. I think you both asked for one another with base chakra being here. Affirmations were put into play, okay? There was some spell work put into play here, asking for whoever this is, but it looks like they're coming in, new beginning. It's what you don't see coming. And it's around the time when you're getting something that you want. Throat chakra being here. Claim what you want. Speak it. Because this person will give you what you want. This is not somebody that's going to make you chase them. This is not somebody that's going to have mixed signals. This is, this is the real deal coming towards you. So... Damn, spiritual union. Like, this is the real deal coming towards you. So be honest with this person. Be very honest. Um, shit, I'm afraid to pull any more damn cards. Whoever coming towards you, don't play about you. This is some real, real love here. It's not that fake shit. Trust the situation. It's calling for you to have trust. This is a soulmate. Pay attention to the red flags and retreat is here. Um, that's why throat chakra is standing out to me so much. Not so much this person's red flags, your own red flags. Pay attention to that because what you speak into the universe comes. So you ask for this person. When they're in front of you, are you going to be honest? Are you going to be able to articulate yourself well? Are you going to be moving out of, out of this past energy or are you going to notice this is somebody else? 
You know, you're going to have to check yourself here. Soulmate is here. Yes, this is your soulmate if you're asking whoever this is. If you've already come into contact with them, then you know who I'm talking about. If not, this person will be coming to you very soon. You're going to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with this person. Be fucking honest. All you got to do is be honest here. No one says you're going to have the, blue, the, the blueprint of how to do this shit right. Not at all. There's no rules to this. The only thing you have to do is be honest. That's it. And any red flag you do have, it'll fade away because this person is solid. You're not going to scare them. You know what I mean? Like the, the things that you talk about in your mind and how you do things, it doesn't scare this person. You just got to be honest with whoever this is. And they are worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play in your love life, is at work. Um, it is safe for you to love whoever this is. I'm going to end it there because that got, I mean, I know this is, Something that the collective has been asking, especially in the comments, like, when is this new person coming? They are here, honey. This is a reconciliation from the past. This is someone from a past life. Um, you'll know who this is when they come around. It'll, it'll feel like home for you for the first time rather than you feeling like home for everyone else. All right? All right, guys, I hope that resonated with you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Hey, you guys, go to my Instagram and give my Instagram uh, page a little love because it is looking very low, okay? But, um... <laughs> I truly appreciate you guys for hanging out with me. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks. Bye.